Greetings all and welcome. I'm your benevolent coach, El Grinnell, bringing you all things happy and healthy. Uh, today we're going to do a workout that's um, just mat work. And what I'd like for you to do while I'm talking, because if I'm standing, it's messed up and um, I don't have anybody helping me right now. So uh, standing, watching this video, if you would just kind of start rotating and just kind of moving your body, marching in place, okay? So just keep moving while I give you a brief introduction. So we're starting with your mat and I have a couple different size towels. We will be doing some things on the hands and knees. And so um, sometimes you need a little extra cushion under there so you can do that. Um, I have my water. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know I don't like drinking water. So today I have my lemon flavored San Pellegrino bubbly water. Um, and, and I like to be barefoot when I do mat work. So shoes off, totally optional. And then lastly, find some music that has like a nice beat to it, but is a little bit on the mellow side um, so that you can follow along without being distracted from the beat, right? Because you don't need the beat to do this workout. We're using just body weight. And then lastly, I'd like to mention that during this um, COVID period, people are talking about how you can use cans from the pantry and things to work out with for extra weight. And I think that's a fabulous idea. However, it can be very dangerous. So unless you have strong hands um, or big enough hands to grip the cans properly or hold the jugs properly, I don't recommend that you do that. I recommend that you just rely on body weight for now. And this whole class is just designed around body weight. Remember to always keep your core in just a little bit. So your abs, you're going to always draw them in just a tiny bit in so that your lower back gets all the support that it needs. And I'll keep reminding you to do that. So to not be saggy. This workout's inspired because my chiropractor told me that my core is getting soft. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> so um, I, it's not as much fun working out by yourself, but it's important that we stay happy and healthy. So here we go. I hope you were still moving all of that time. Alrighty. I'm going to begin um, by being belly up, and then we'll flip back and forth between exercises that are belly up and belly down, and that's part of the workout, flipping back and forth. Okay, so get comfortable, and if you need to, here's you know where you can put your towel. If you need support under your hips, now would be the time to do it. Um, you can bend your legs, or you can have them a little bit straighter. Totally up to you, okay? So we're just gonna start with some single leg, leg lifts. Keep your chin in position, and you're gonna curl up and down, but you're gonna be using two hands. I just want you to be aware if you can see the chin position, curl up and down using two hands, but we are not doing this. Do not go chin down, chin back, chin down, chin back, okay? That brings self-induced whiplash, and that's why a lot of people can't do core work because they say it hurts their neck. And the reason why is because you're whiplashing forward and back. Okay, so let's just keep this going for a little bit longer. Curling up. Now you can keep your chest open if you like, or you can bring it in if that feels better. And you could even do both, but usually when people start doing this is when the chin starts coming in. Okay, so pick one you like, either chest open or chest closed. And they do feel a little bit different, so play with that a little bit. Just be careful this over time uh, if you forget to be mindful, will lead to the, um, the whiplash effect. Okay, so already the heart rate should be coming up just a little bit, even though we're not technically doing cardio. And you're just telling your body that you're getting ready for some movement. So now, let's add a small change. We're going to add a rotation and a rotation. Okay, keep that going. I'm going to let go of one of my hands because I want to be able to show you the form and technique. Okay, keep using two hands. Do your best to lead from your shoulder. Okay, lead from your shoulder, not from your elbow. Okay, so it looks like this. Shoulder, open, shoulder, open. Okay, leave them open. It's not important that you can rotate farther. That is not actually the core work, right? We want the core, so you're going to lead with just your shoulder. 
So the elbow just comes along for the ride. It is not in the driver's seat, pulling you around again, hard on the neck. Alrighty, so stay open. Keep breathing. It's always best to exhale on the effort if you're comfortable with that. Everybody's breathing is a little bit different, but the exertion, you start getting a little tired. Okay, so in the office today, it's Sunday, and the air conditioning is not on. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be a little more breathy and a little more glisteny than I normally would. Excellent. Okay, now let's keep that same concept going with a single leg. So rotate, lead from your shoulder, lead from your shoulder. Now, if this bothers your back, then kick your leg up just a little bit higher, just a little bit, okay? And if you're in great core condition, you can bring that leg down nice and low. Do not let it rest on the floor. That is more challenging, okay? So pick what you want. I'm gonna be right in the middle. And I want you to notice that I am leading with my shoulder and the elbow is just along for the ride. When you use the elbow, it looks like this. Okay, so you're getting more rotation, but it's taking it away from your core and it's pulling on the back of your neck. All righty, let's trade sides. I'm gonna cross over from the shoulder and then again, go higher if you need a little um, easier on the back or go lower if your core is nice and strong and you want to challenge. Just don't let that foot hit the floor. We don't want it that low. Keep going. We also don't want to knock over our water. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Just a couple more. Excellent. Okay, now let's go back to the other leg and I'll show you a little trick you can do as well. So instead of leading from the shoulder, try squeezing straight up. Bring the leg in, lift straight up. Bring the leg in, lift straight up. This will help start to train you to lead from the shoulder. Okay, let's try it on the other side. So you're gonna lift straight up and out. Remembering that leg placement is totally up to you. Whatever feels good. Just a couple more with the lift because they do different things. Wonderful. Okay, now if you're comfortable two legs. If you want to, you can stay like this. We're just going to curl up and curl down. Bring the legs up and crunch and open. Now take your time when you curl in and open so you can keep control of that chin. If you're not sure if you're rotating, you could put a tennis ball right here and you'll be able to feel how much you're squeezing that ball which should not be much at all. It should actually fall out. You shouldn't be able to keep a tennis ball for the most part in there. Okay, a couple things are happening. Keep going. You're lifting your hips just a little bit, but you're not thrusting, <laughs> okay? It's just a rotation. And then um, you're crunching your upper body as well. So we're getting a lot of muscle groups working here. Okay. I'm going to add some levels of variation that are totally optional. So level one would look like this. You're rolling up, holding briefly, rolling down. Okay, so you're at your own pace. You're going to be a little bit behind me. Rolling up, holding briefly, rolling down. Okay, if you're at level two, you're going to be crunching in, lifting your hips, open, rest crunch and rest and if you want level three we're going to crunch and extend crunch hips up extend so you don't really rest that head on level three okay crunch extend crunch extend okay so you're at level one level two 
or level three, and you're gonna keep going for just a moment because I'm hitting the tree. Keep going, no resting. We're gonna rest in just a sec. Okay, just four more, wherever you're at. Okay, now let it rest easily, no thudding rhinoceroses to the floor, and roll the knees to one side. And breathe. Turn your chin the other way and say, oh. Reclaim the breath. Slowly, other side, take your time. Keep both those feet on the mat. Okay, don't lift up. I know you want to, <laughs> but don't. And back to center. Now taking the back of the legs, let's rock and roll a little bit. And then sit all the way up and reach out for your toes. And if you can't rock and roll to sit, then just however feels comfortable for you. Okay, flip it over. So we're gonna be doing it like a pancake. <laughs> Lots of flipping up and over. Okay, so level one is opposite leg and arm. Watch out that you're not tilting your hips, okay? So stay right here. And again, you can put a towel under your knee um, or under your hands, right? Or if you have yoga blocks, you can put yoga blocks under your hands. Okay, opposite arm and leg. And we're going to start with just a crunch. Crunch in and extend. Now, keep your belly drawn in against gravity. Keep it drawn up to support your back. And watch out for curving. We're not curving right now. We're not doing cat-cow. Okay? Stay right strong in your core with that belly in. Resisting gravity is the hardest part. Not too fast so you don't fall over at your own pace. Longer legs and arms take longer than shorter legs and arms. So just work a few more times. Breathing, belly in. You feel your glutes firing a little bit, which is good, and your shoulders. Okay, now, if you're comfortable Sit back and shake it out. Okay, if you don't like to sit back, you can stand up tall like that. Okay, are you ready? Same thing, other side. Opposite leg, which one was I doing? <laughs> and crunch, <laughs> and extend. Okay, so your hips stay neutral. You're not rotating those hips. You're not rounding and curving. You're gonna squeeze in and extend. You're going to keep your belly nice and tight, remembering to breathe. Do your best to keep your chin in the neutral position. That's where it would be if you were standing. In other words, don't drop it down here because that's hard on the neck with that bowling ball hanging off there. And if you lift it up too high and look out that way, it will strain the back of the neck and begin to give you that whiplash effect again. Let's do four more. Beautiful. Sit back and shake it out however you're comfortable. Uh, give a few bear hugs. I love bear hugs. Hold it. Switch it. Yes. Okay, now let's add in. So we're going to take away your stabilizers. If you extend the leg, and just hold it, again, watch out for rotation. You want everything to be square. Belly in, and this time, no hand. Okay, just the leg. And we're just gonna do a few on each side because I'm gonna add a lot of variations. We're actually only doing eight. Belly in, chin neutral. Extend the leg and hold it. Okay, now keep the leg there. Release the arm and crunch the arm. Two more. Excellent. Shake it out. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Other way other side. Okay, so stabilize the other leg. No hand. And if this is challenging, then go ahead and leave your hand. Watch out for tilting your hips. Alrighty, legs. 
Now you can really feel if you're tilting those hips or not because your hand is back here. That's comfortable for you. Get your stabilizing hand right under your shoulder. You don't want to be like a kickstand. Okay, you want it right under your shoulder. Abs in. Chin neutral. Couple more. Excellent. Okie dokie. Leg extended and just the arm. Now this is working your shoulders a little bit more. It's working your core for stabilization, but you need your shoulders as part of your core. There, everything from your shoulders to your hips is considered your core. Two more. And a well-deserved break. Shake it out. Shoulder rolls. Let's swim. Yay, and flip over. Okay, on this next set, if you have back issues, take your hands, put them right there under your hips. So just, you've got your hip bone, you've got your butt right, right below the hip bone. And now bring your legs in and bring your legs up. Okay, give in the support you need, however that feels comfortable. Break a put towel under there. And then you're gonna lift your chest. And then we're gonna do single legs. Now with your chest, chest lifted, your poor neck has to hold up your bowling ball of a head. So for many of you, myself included, I have a huge head. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you can rest, but just a few, and then bring it back up again. Okay, so if this bothers your back, try to give a little more support under here or don't go down as low, okay? But if you're feeling strong and you know your body and you've never had a back injury, then you're gonna go ahead and take it nice and low, but you are not going to touch the mat. You stop just shy. You're also not going to bounce the leg. I don't wanna demonstrate that because I could hurt myself doing it. <laughs> In other words, you briefly stop and then you return. Briefly stop, and then you return. So again, everybody's at their own pace, okay? Some of you might only be going short distances, so you'll be doing more. Some of you will be doing full distance, so it's going to take you a little bit longer. Keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna add the next challenge, optional, okay? If you have any back issues, then you're not ready for this one yet, and that's totally cool. Okay, so we're just gonna do a few more. Holding everything tight, but remembering to breathe. <laughs> well, could you hear that sound like a watermelon? <laughs> okay, just a few more. Okay, now keep going, we're in the home stretch. Okay, whatever level you're at, I'm going to give you one more option, make it just a little bit harder, right? Always three levels. Okay, so you're going to slide and switch. Slide and switch, okay? Remember not to bounce the leg at the bottom. You're going to stop for a sec. Good. Now, if you want, you could do it smaller. So if you want to try a bigger challenge, just don't drop the legs as low. And then over time, as you build your core, then you can go ahead to the full extension, making sure that you are not touching the floor. Yay, you did it. Oh, let's swirl. I love swirling. It's so good for your joints and it's kind of childlike. Your brain likes this too. Other way, big swirls, take your time and breathe. Okay, now roll to the side and give yourself support if your lower back needs it, okay? If not, go ahead and full roll. And relax, nice breaths. Bring it in, up and over, other side. Remember to support underneath if you need to. And relax. And back. 
back to center. We can stay a little longer on that side because it felt good. Rolling, bring it up. Whew. And if you're comfortable, extend that spine and then let it go. Okay, back over, but this time belly down. Belly down, make sure you have plenty of room because we're gonna extend. Okay, so pull your gut in, squeeze it nice and tight, it's your pedestal, and then extend your arms and start just by lifting your toes and your chest. So if you're a beginner, this is all you're gonna do. You're gonna go forehead down, extend, down, and extend. Okay, so obviously the next level of that would be hands up, completely rest. Hands up, completely rest. A few more of that. And some of you, I'm sure, can lift higher than I can. Listen to your body. Do what works. Just a few more of these. Okay, so remember, if you're the beginner level, toes stay up if you can. You're going to raise, you're going to lower. Just two more. Now, everybody stay up. So you're either here or you're here. Four, three, two. Stabilizing, wonderful. Sit back into child's pose if you're comfortable. And then bring it in, curl your toes, lift your hips, give it a nice little push. Uh, Already, bring it back down. Another version. So, toes up, chest up, and then you're just going to alternate the hands. And you're going to feel yourself rotate a little bit in the upper body, okay? And then if you're coordinated <laughs> and you're comfortable, then you're just going to lift the opposite foot. Okay, again, that's totally optional. A little more challenging on the lower back. Okay, and for those of you super fit folks, we're going to lift and paddle. Wee. So remember, you need a pretty good strong back to be able to do the paddles. Four more. Three, two, Everybody rest, arms at a right angle, say, oh, thank you, body, I love you. Whew. And then look the other way. Whew. And let's do that stretch, push back as far as you're comfortable. And then come to hands and knees, tabletop and just cat cow the back. And breathe. Excellent. Alrighty, back over, belly up. Told you I'd be flipping you like a pancake the whole class. Um, okay, obliques, diagonal muscles, right? They're the ones that give you that V, that nice small waistline. Or not. <laughs> okay, so technique first. Single leg, hand behind the ear. Better behind the ear than the back of the head. It's going to rotate over and back. So you're behind the ear so that you don't self whiplash yourself. If you're too far back, you're gonna, chin's gonna rock forward and back, okay? So at the ear, and you're gonna think about leading with the shoulder, I talked about before, <clears throat> lead with the shoulder. And this hand is out for stabilization. And you're thinking about bringing over your shoulder as though if you want your shoulder to touch your knee, okay? That's not the goal, that's the form. What we are avoiding is elbow over. That will give you whiplash, and it doesn't make for better core training. Okay, squishing my guts out. Okay, so go back to good technique. Woo. Okay, we're gonna add a challenge 
that's totally optional. If you don't like the challenge, you're going to stay right here. Be mindful that you're not bringing that elbow all the way over. You're doing your best to lead from the shoulder. And if you like, we're going to touch the ankle and diagonal open. Lift high, diagonal open. Okay. So notice that you get to rest your head in between each one of those. And that's pretty cool. But again, that's totally optional. If you don't have as much support, lifting that leg high is a little bit high, harder on the lower back, right? The fulcrum. Just a couple more of whichever one you like. And let it go. And shake it out. Okay, now you should feel very unbalanced. So let's balance it up. We're going to work the other side. By the ear. So you're bringing your shoulder towards your knee. Nice rotation. Okay. And you're thinking about shoulder towards the knee. So some of you are stronger and you can come in a little farther, but promise me you won't go elbow in, elbow out. That does not mean that you've come closer. It means you're cheating, <laughs> you're getting away from your core, and you're causing a strain in your neck and shoulders, okay? Lead from the shoulder. Just a few more. Keep breathing. And now you're ready to add the optional challenge, right? So if you want, you can go with an extension towards the ankle and breathe. Okay, so I'm just giving you lots of variations. So when you're doing this on your own, there's things that you can think of. So it's not too much that you can't remember anything, but it's enough of variations for you to be able to come up with some things if you don't have access to the video. Just a couple more for fun. Ah. Yay, last one. Okay, let that down. Feet are solid on the ground and just slowly rock the knees from side to side. Take your time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Yay, then stay one side, relax and breathe. Notice my feet are still on the ground. Don't put them anywhere else. I know some of you want to lift those feet up because you think that's a better stretch. It's not a better stretch, it's just a different stretch. Draw on those knees and swirl. Oh, I love this. Anytime you're feeling distressed or frustrated, just drop down on the ground, grab your knees. Usually you don't hold your knees, but in this case, it's the right thing to do. And just feel into it. And then if you're comfortable, roll into the side. Remember to give support if you need to. And then squeeze your abs nice and tight as you come up and over to the other side, using the hand for support if you need to. Yay, back to center, back of the thighs, not, not the knees, okay? Muscle, roll it. Woo, Whee. all the way up. Ah, and breathe. Good work. Flipping back over. Okay, these can be a little bit challenging. Remember, if you need to, you can put support under your hands. You can put support under your under your knees or both. Yeah. Or if you have yoga blocks, you can also do the blocks. So lots of options here. So we're gonna. It's called threading, right? One leg out. Watch out for tilting your hips. Okay. Keep it nice. Your hips are flat to the ground. And then opposite arm out. You're gonna thread through as low as you're comfortable and extend. Okay, so if you've never done this before, put your foot down like this and thread, okay? Until you feel stable and strong. Okay, notice also that my hand is right under my shoulder. It's not out here like a kickstand. Okay, you don't wanna kickstand. Keep going. Otherwise, you can try a few up, and if you feel wobbly, then just put your leg back down again. And for those of you who are good with this, if you're not already, 
do a deep and long full extension. <laughs> totally optional. Now you can also counterbalance your leg by bringing it out to the side if that helps. Okay. Alrighty. Whew. Sit back, shake it out, or sit tall, shake it out. Whatever feels good. Round two. Are you ready? Opposite leg. Am I doing the opposite side? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's not even half the hour. Okay, thread through. Extend. Oh, it's the same one. I'm sorry. Try it out. Oh my goodness. I'm not even tired or hungry. Reach through. Okay, so I just want to remind you, you can center the foot to help you rotate a little bit more in the core. Otherwise, keep it up. Make sure the hand is in a kickstand that's right under the shoulder. And that you're holding your belly in against gravity for lower back support. Okay, so if you want to go lower, you can. Okay, just avoid momentum. Make sure you're totally in control. Just a few more. Last one. Yay. Bring it back. Shake it out. Or tall. And shake it out. Oh, shoulders. Feeling good. Moving on. Back over. Belly up. Whew. I need a drink. Oh, okay. Mmm. It's so good. San Pellegrino lemon zest flavored water. Yeah, no sugar. Okay, back over. Stop playing around. <laughs> okay. We're going to do some old-fashioned crunches. So we're gonna start first with stabilization. So your hands are here, your hands are here. You're just gonna curl your hips up and then you're gonna touch just your toes. Curl in, touch just your toes, okay? Now for some of you, that's probably gonna be the biggest challenge you wanna go today because remember, you probably can't see it very well, but you're also lifting your hips. So you're crunching so much that your hips are coming off the floor just a tiny bit, yes? Okay. However, if you want a bigger challenge, put your hands by your ears, keep your chest very open, and lift your chest. Release. Crunch. Release. So what's happening is my toes are lifting, my hips are rolling, and my shoulders are lifting all without crunching my neck down. Okay, so that's self-induced whiplash when you bring your head down and back, okay? It's not good for you. <laughs> so do your best to be by your ears, lift your chest up, and then completely release and rest. Crunch in and up, release and rest. Just a few more. Breathing. So remember, some of you might still be here, just working on that. <clears throat> but how about we take it up a notch? <laughs> Let those hands go. We're gonna bring the feet up, and we're gonna crunch, and go towards the toes. Crunch. Now I want you to notice a few things. Number one, your hips are lifting. Your shoulders are lifting. Now if you don't want this one, you could do an easier version. Hips up, chest up chest up, supporting the bowling ball, okay? Still crunching. Now, the thing about this is, watch out that you don't do whiplash. Chin down, chin up. No, no, no chin down, no chin up. You're gonna stay neutral, lift towards the sky. Excellent. Okay, now, some of you won't be able to reach your toes, but go ahead and let go of your hands. Let's see if you can get your toes. Just two more. Okay, now real small, let's pulse. 10. 
shoulders and hips. Uh oh, I lost count. Three, <laughs> two, one. Down easy. Down easy. Stretch back. Oh. Now arch your rib cage. Oh. And relax the rib cage. Roll the knees to one side just a little. Other side just a little. And back to center. <clears throat> All righty, let's rock and roll. All the way up, nice and fun. Reach out big. And then let it go. <clears throat> okay, let's do one more belly. Let's go belly down. Flippers can be challenging, right? So if you have trouble with these, then improvise. I'll show you how. Belly down. Okay, toes curled for beginners. Chest up and just flipper. Okay, if you have a good strong back, toes up and they're going to flipper also. Uh oh, see, I'm getting myself in trouble here. Why? Because we're going to now open the arms and close the arms. Okay, so if your feet are down, it looks like this. Okay, otherwise, flippers. Yay! Now, if you'd like a bigger challenge, you're going to open the legs and keep them open. Excellent. Otherwise, you could open the legs, keep your toes down, flipper in, flipper out. And rest, arms at a right angle. Ah, nice breath. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift your chest. Okay, remember, so bring your feet back in a little bit. They can be anchored or they can be anchored if you like. We're going to do Superman's or Wonder Woman's. <laughs> Put your hands together. Say, make a little heart. Okay. So you got your heart. And we're just going to make a nice figure eight. Infinity symbol. Yay. We're soaring the planet. <sighs> we're looking for who needs help. <sighs> okay, now notice which direction you're going. And now go the opposite direction. Whoosh. Four more. Three figure eights. Two. And rest. Ooh, put one arm back. Let the shoulder relax. Big breaths. Switch sides. And release. Oh, I heard someone ask, what does my shirt say? Uh, I think it says, teach, eat, sleep, repeat. Something like that. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, back over. We are so close to being finished. So I'm flipping you like a pancake <laughs> until you're done. Ah. All right. A little bit more for the obliques, rotations. So we're going to start opposites. We're going to start with the feet, and then we're going to take away the feet. And if you don't want to take away the feet, you're going to stay just like this. Okay? So let's rotate. And open, leading from the shoulder. Okay, so this should feel familiar. Yes? Excellent. Okay, so now that you've got familiar going, take away the feet if you're comfortable and give me a nice extension. Leading from your shoulder, not your elbow. So it's not elbow to elbow, it's shoulder. And that elbow stays high. Yes, more challenging, I know, and probably not as much fun, but that's okay. It's good for you. <laughs> Better to do it right than to do it wrong and to not get the benefit or even worse, possibly hurt yourself. Okay, everybody, hands together. Okay, hands together behind your bowling ball. Lift it up just a little bit. We're going to do big bicycles. The bigger, the better. 
keep your chest up because you've got the support. Now, backward bicycle. The bigger, the better. But listen to your back. Beautiful. Okay, everybody toes up. Now, if you have back issues, you might want to put the towel under here, right? Or you could even put your hands under here. But otherwise, keep your chest lifted, point your toes, and scissor over. Now, if you're in better shape, you can drop them a little bit. But again, that, that'll challenge your lower back. So you need to know what you're doing. You need to know that you can do this. And I'm just going to demonstrate quickly. <laughs> For those of you super fit folks watching, you can also do them here. Okay? But only if you're 100% confident of your lower back strength and that it's injury free. Okay, now everybody toes high, flex your feet, make frog legs, soles together, knees wide. Bring them back up, lift your chest, and now we're gonna go uh, over. Okay, and if that feels good, we're gonna go a little lower. <laughs> and for you super fit folks, you know where you're going, right? Totally optional, you have to have a really good back. If you push it too hard, it's not my fault. You know your body. I don't know your body. Okay. Just a few more. Four. Three. Two. Yeah. Let them down. Easy. Easy. No thundering elephants. One long leg. Diagonal. Push the hips for the stretch. Oh, she feels so good. You're doing wonderful. Why? Because we're almost done. <laughs> Switch. And you're still here. You haven't given up. You've improvised, you've made it your workout, you've done what you can, and maybe you've even pushed yourself if some of this is new. Okay, feet, and now just take your hips and rotate them so your back is flat into the back. Oh. And then let it go back to what's called neutral spine, a little tiny curve. Let's do that two more times. Flatten it out and release. Last time in. And release. Okay, let's just bring the heart rate down, stretch it out a little bit, long legs. So if this bothers your back, then just bend your knees a tiny bit, not, not all the way. Breathe up. Exhale back. Stay right here and lift that rib cage just a bit. Oh, you're just stretching, stretching. And then relax. Bring the arms out at a right angle like you're a bull post. Nice big breath, and relax. Now roll onto one side, because we're totally pulling down now. All the hard stuff's done. Rest your head on, on the muscle of your arm. Your bottom leg has a slight bend in the knee, and pull back the toes. If you don't have the toes, that's okay. You don't have to have the toes. Just bring your heel towards your buns, and push back away a little bit, okay? Breathing. Now kick it up high at the calf muscle, and then you should be able to get the calf muscle, hopefully, <laughs> if you're okay with that. Flex the foot, and then if you want a bigger challenge, you're gonna grab the toes for an extension. That's totally optional. Okie dokie, now take that leg on the floor in front of you at a right angle. Bring your bottom arm out, top arm high in the sky. Okay, keep the hip and the leg on the floor and see how far you can rotate open. Should feel really good. This is like a full body stretch. A lot happening right here. And then let it go. Bring it back in. <clears throat> now we're just going to do the other side. So all the way over. I'm going to turn around so I can still see you. So just roll over. I guess you can turn around if you want to see me. That's fair. So you're resting your head on the muscle of your arm. Bottom leg is bent just a little bit. And top leg comes up. And flex that foot. And if you're comfortable, grab the toes. Okay, that's totally optional. Now bring it behind you. I know I heard you. <laughs> we started here on the other side. It's okay. 
This is all about relaxing and letting go, going with the flow of sometimes the craziness. Right, so you've got your toe and you're pulling back, so you're feeling that nice stretch right here. If you don't have your toe, that's okay. Just flex your leg, give it a nice twist. Okay, now let's take it in front of you. Rest it, bottom arm out, top arm high, and open. And keep rotating as far as your body wants to today without lifting your knee. Open, open, breathe, relax. So listening to your body, you want to find that soft spot between pushing too hard but challenging yourself. Okay, bring it back in. Bring it onto your back again. And just rock it out. And then one side. Inhale, center. Exhale over. And grab the back of the legs at the muscle, not the knees, cutting blood flow. Get on the muscle. Rock it up. Breathe in. And then all the way up. <clears throat> and if you can't do that, that's okay. Just do your own version <coughs> of coming up. Yay. Now bring it front and center. Soles together. Leaning forward, long spine. Stretch, extend. And then just rock it out a little bit, have fun. And then hold one side, gentle press. Other side, gentle press. And then bring around behind you, open up, and switch. Open up, and let's shake it out. Oh, yay, breathe up tall, forward fall, relax. And then, Bring it up nice and tall. Slowly roll back down onto your mat. Okay, we're gonna relax for just a moment. So get comfortable however you'd like to be. Okay, close your eyes and just try to pick one spot. Okay, so you're not watching me anymore. I'm just relaxing. And with your eyes closed, place your hands on your belly and allow yourself to feel it expand as you breathe in. Exhale deep and low as you let go. So keep that going, eyes closed, hands on the belly, feel the rise and fall. I'm gonna come in and watch you for a moment, see how that's going. Inhale, expand your belly. Exhale, relax and let go. Oh. Breathe in all the love and light you need today. Exhale, letting go anything that's bothering you or could have been bothering you or maybe bothering you or maybe not. Just enjoy the breath. Let's keep that going just a couple more times. Inhale, deep. Feel the belly expand. Exhale, relax and let go. Inhale, breathing in love and light. Exhale, relax, tell your body thank you, I love you. I love you so very much. Breathing in big and just wrap your arms around you, give yourself a nice hug. Say, I love you so much. You are literally a walking, talking, breathing miracle. And so it is, open your eyes and let the light come back in. And then rock and roll yourself up to the seated position. So a little bump like we did earlier. And just centering yourself for a moment, telling your body, thank you, I love you. I love you for everything you do for me all the time without me having to ask. I am so grateful that we are in this together. And so it is. Breathe up, big inhale, lift. Exhale, open. And give yourself a bow. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Thanks for joining me again. I do have one more workout, depending on how long this, um, this whole thing goes on. Um, so what's coming next? Um, another line dance class, but disco based. <laughs> so I know I just scared some of you off, but I made some of you like, yeah, yeah, bring it. So next week. Until then, I say namaste and aloha. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you 
believing in yourself and in and, and your health and your wellness one breath at a time.